welcome. Your presence here is no coincidence. It marks the beginning of a meaningful connection designed to deliver a powerful message from Apostle Joshua Selman right to your doorstep. This message carries the potential to not only bless you, but also ignite inspiration for greatness within you. Open your heart wide and allow your mind to embrace the profound in before we dive deeper. I warmly invite you to actively participate in this significant moment. Show your support by liking the video, sharing it with those around you who may find it valuable, and subscribing to our channel for a consistent flow of insightful content. Your support is genuinely appreciated and plays a vital role in our ability to continue sharing these meaningful messages. As you tune in to absorb this special message, may blessings overflow into your life. Embrace the profound wisdom offered by Apostle Joshua Selman, and let this encounter serve as a beacon of inspiration and positive change on your life's journey. Your openness to receiving this message is a transformative step toward a more enriched and purposeful life. I pray for you, whatever has kept you down, my dear people, in the name of Jesus, who is the Son of the living God, I'm praying that in this service, you will begin to make constructive choices. Yeah. Prostitution is a choice. Armed robbery is a choice. Laziness is a choice. Prayerlessness is a choice. Wordlessness is a choice. Refusing to come to church is a choice. Having bad friends is a choice. Having good friends is a choice. Being a failure is a choice. It's just a choice whose dynamics you did not understand, but it's a choice. Being poor is a choice. Being a mediocre is a choice. Living without help is a choice. Not enjoying the ministry of men is a choice. Failing in whatever you do is a choice. Becoming a child of God is a choice. As powerful as the Holy Spirit is, there are people here now who are not born again. In all the overflows who are not born again. The thousands following across the globe who are not born again. He will be around you, but he will respect you. Waiting for the moment you declare the Lordship of Jesus by yourself. Hallelujah. Now let me tell you the truth. When God taught me this, I made up my mind. And I started making certain quality choices with my life. I want you to listen now. Fasten your seatbelt because we're going to rush very, very fast. I began to make certain choices with my life. And the Lord gave me an assurance that if I insisted on making and staying on those choices, that I will become a certain kind of believer. And we are not yet there in the fullness but we are determined to keep making those choices. Are we together? Yeah. He won't stop. He won't stop. Till my life looks like him. He won't stop. He won't stop. Till I look just like him. He won't stop. He won't stop. Till I look just like him. I remember many years ago I would see I would watch Reinhard Bonke crusades and watch people rise up from wheelchairs watch people throw crutches you know I didn't know the idea of being real or fake then those things were not in my mind but I was watching my God how can a man have this kind of power he was not with all due respect to him he's joined the cloud of witnesses he was not such an orator no he would not share some deep revelation from Greek and Hebrew. No. He would just stand and speak and fire that you can feel in your physical body. I said, what did this man touch? What kind of grace is this? How about um, T.L. Osborne? He was a sound teacher of the word. So he will teach and then you will see mighty miracles. How about Billy Graham? Billy Graham would teach like he's doing a discussion, like a lecture. 
you will almost feel sorry for him and think nobody will be convicted until he makes the altar call you see people coming as if they are dragging a chain someone coming you know that this is the holy ghost pushing this man because the way the man's face is you know that that man should not be in front and yet he's coming out but today as preachers we will shout and shout and shout and even beg people even kneeling down okay can you come to jesus then we stand up we raise a song again we say i know there's one more person come on don't be ashamed and and there are many sinners watching even the people by their left and right know from the time service started they have exhibited characteristics of sinners the neighbors know the person should be in front and yet the person will not come out hallelujah because one person chose that as a simple stammerer that he would believe in God and he trusted God for the fire to fall and he made a choice his choice was simple God gave me a mandate that Africa shall be saved and with that this man went through all the disciplines by choice that produces an evangelist indeed T.L. Osborne went to India he read his Bible oh, and went to India and when he went to India he was praying and asked people okay you know all of this he finished preaching and the people were just watching him at the end of it he prayed no salvation no miracles he left as if they drove him away he returned back to America and said God something must be wrong this is not what I see in the Bible and the Lord told him that ministry happens with a demonstration of power you do not call a people from one side of a belief system to another without a demonstration of power. He said, oh, that's it. He settled down and got genuine spiritual power. He went back to India. When he preached, they were still looking at him like that. And he said one blind person should come out. One person on a wheelchair or I think on a crutch come out. Another person and in their presence, those people got healed. The place erupted erupted and without wasting energy he called people to jesus that's how it works maybe god is talking to someone if you go and do a crusade like that they will beat you on that ground don't embarrass the name of the lord stay tarry until ye be endued with power say power if this thing has not landed on your head tarry oh tarry is it's not every region that will just report you to go and read the Bible. Even those that had power, they flog them. Talk more of those that do not have it. Your subscription signifies more than a I mean, you have your Bible to read. Say power. Many of us downplay the power to choose. I know I'm digressing, but I am telling you, there are certain equippings if you do not carry, don't move to certain terrains. Don't go and call the nation. In Nigeria, nobody will sue you to court if they are not healed. There are regions you gather people, say the sick, the lame, the blind, you have all kinds of problems come. The people are coming, their lawyers are there coming to express our gratitude. And by the time you are done playing games, just when you think you are preparing to return back, you'll find out that you are in the prison. Stay connected with us on all our social media platforms at Flaming Channel. And feel free to explore our website at W. Hallelujah. Choices. And may God abundantly have you chosen to love God or are you just loving God have you chosen let me tell you something about choices the fact that choices become deliberate it gives you the staying power to maintain and defend your decisions the moment you do not make a deliberate decision listen to me the energy to remain until you reap the consequences the outcome of that decision is not in you that means if I choose today that in the name of Jesus Christ I am going to become a great person for instance do you know the fact that you made that decision the way God designed it is the energy to stay there even when you are in the pit and Daniel purposed in his heart give it to us Daniel 1 verse 8 Daniel purposed in his heart that he would not defile himself with the portion of the king's meat it doesn't mean he was not hungry decisions are powerful the staying power the power to endure 
comes from making conscious decisions the day you make up your mind that I'm on a journey to get spiritual power the pain of fasting will no longer affect you believe me every time you feel weary the the fact that you have decided the fact that you have decided that is why before we fast here we announce to people that we're going to fast and this is what is for do you know why because if you just join carelessly by 10 you almost feel like you are sick because the staying power is not there let me tell you why many people cannot push until their destiny emerges they have not decided you want to be rich but you have not decided i'm not talking of a hustler you have not decided you have not seen the need the day you settle down and say lord this is my bible i choose that from this day forward my children will not beg for bread again can i tell you even if you are saying that in a one room the entire energy of heaven that needs to support your growth many people have not chosen to stop what they are doing men the, there are people without prayer they told themselves i will not smoke again i'm telling you without a preacher it was a decision they made and the day they made that decision either because they told them you have um what's this thing that you get when you smoke liver huh? lung cancer they tell them mr man the day you touch one uh this thing again that day you are going to die out of that fear will come a decision no prayer no fasting they just decided from today that's the end of it can i tell you the truth by the privilege of god's grace and without any sense of you of pride there are things in my life today it's not just a free gift it's a product of a choice the moment you choose the power to take your eyes away from many other variables leaves immediately are we together apostle i want to pray but do you know i pray there is a grace that comes so but that grace respects your choice you don't have the power to change yourself but you can choose and agree with god that i want to be changed hallelujah i remember very clearly when i made up my mind i said lord i have such scripture and i found out that if i am poor and i don't have the financial wherewithal i may not do ministry with integrity and i may not be able to help people therefore consciously i've listened to message not a money monger not just some prosperity jargon consciously because i want to serve jesus correctly i want to live a life of integrity in ministry and to be a blessing i made that vow today that me and poverty to be forever the day i made that decision there was no one naira in my pocket but it was signed in heaven can i tell you i don't mean to offend you truly many of you are not yet serious enough the realm of the spirit does not take you serious enough that's why some things have not changed did you hear what i said pastor you are not ready to grow that's why you are still giving flimsy excuses it's because another church is near me it's because this one is happening it's because i'm not an indigenous in abuja it's a lie the day you make up your mind and say there is a way out father the same lord is rich unto all there are fathers today with all due respect they are still giving flimsy excuses they've not paid us our arrears for five years that's why i've not risen it is a lie the day you get angry and say lord you are the one who made me a father over four children you cannot give me four children to turn my daughters and my sons into armed robbers and prostitutes from this day i made up my mind that my child will never lack school fees again you will see that the resources of heaven will rush towards you to support it it is a principle that both spirituality and psychology agree on that the moment you make a decision how to make that decision come to pass is released to you immediately the most important thing is to make the decision can i tell you there are many things i've decided in my life and in ministry at the point that decision was made the strategy was not even there but make the decision first for instance i will serve the lord all the days of my life what will i do now with the covenants of witchcraft don't worry you decide first in the name of jesus i will not take last in class again 
Eh, but I'm like that. I'm not really very sharp in my mind. You are not serious. You are not serious. No, you are not serious. I'm not very bright. No, you are not serious. I know that I'm, I'm a barrister, but I'm not practicing. You know, nobody wants to even, you are not serious. I'm sorry. Don't feel bad, but just believe me. You are not serious. Apostle, people come, they come and receive miracles and they leave me. You are both lying and you are not serious. Nobody leaves what works. Something about what you are saying is not true. You think you are blessing them. They are not getting blessed. Is someone getting angry? Let me speak to the gentleman for one minute. I want you to vow a vow. You know, I, when I talk to you like this, I talk to you in love. There are some things you must choose to never let happen in your life. One, that I will love the Lord with all my heart. I'm, I'm going to run through those things for you. Number two, I will be a responsible person as a leader and as a father. No gentleman in Koinonia should raise irresponsible children. You cannot pay their school fees, transferring the responsibility to your wife and saying, after all, the Bible says two have become one. It means you have been wasting my energy here with all the preaching that I've been preaching. Honestly. Apostle, you are only saying this because somebody will give you a seed after Koinonia. Where were they when we started? Decisions. You can make up your mind from today and say in the name of Jesus, by the next two years, there are certain things that should happen in my life. Do you believe that? I am certain that the sermons you've embraced have been a wellspring of blessings, lifting your life and igniting a profound commitment to wholeheartedly serve God. We extend a heartfelt invitation for you to subscribe to our YouTube channel, ensuring you remain connected and never miss any upcoming videos by activating the notification bell. Your subscription transcends a mere click. It symbolizes a dedication to continual spiritual growth, enlightenment, and empowerment. Embark on this faith-filled odyssey with us, as our channel strives to become a sanctuary for both spiritual seekers and steadfast believers. We staunchly believe in the transformative prowess of God's Word, and our objective is to disseminate messages that deeply resonate with the essence of your soul. Become a part of our community, subscribe, and let the radiant light of divine wisdom, your presence is integral to this uplifting journey, and may the abundant blessings of God overflow in every facet of your life. Amen. Stay connected with us across all our social media platforms at Flaming Channel, and explore more on our website at www.flamingchannel.com. Gratitude fills our hearts, and may God's abundant blessings continue to grace your life abundantly.